الحمد للہ رب العالمین والصلاۃ والسلام علی سید المرسلی و علیہ و صحابہ اجمائی وی ور ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دی انڈیویجول کوالٹیز آف این اسلامک دعویٰ ورکر سو فار ان اور پریویس تھری ایپیسوڈس وی ٹاکڈ اباؤٹ دی کانسیپٹ آف توحید دی کانسیپٹ آف پروفیٹ ہڈ and the concept of the hereafter. Today we shall talk about the importance of the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu sallam and the knowledge of the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu sallam and the love of Rasulullah sallallahu sallam how much is it, it is essential for a dawa worker to Uh, uh, to be effective and how much it is needed and how important it is. As you know, as you know, Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the last prophet, Khatamun Nabiyyin. And Islam, Islam is based on two things. As Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, تَرَكْتُ فِيكُمْ أَمْرَيْنِ لَن تَدِلُّوا إِن تَمَسَّكْتُمْ بِهِمَا كِتَابُ اللَّهِ وَسُنَّةُ النَّبِيِّهِ That I am leaving two things among you. You shall never go astray as long as you follow these two things. The book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the sunnah of his prophet Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The dawa worker must know the relationship between Quran and sunnah. Many of the ahkam and uh, teachings that are given in the Quran are of very general in nature. Whereas the details are given in the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. For example, Quran says, aqimu salah. More than 30 times this order was given, establish the prayers. But the details of the prayers we find in the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as he practiced, as he taught to the companions as seen uh, by the, the companions and as practiced by the companions. That's why the Quran says, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ Indeed, in the life of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu sallam, you have the best example, the best model. So every Muslim imitates the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So one who is da'i, one who is muballiq, who is a da'wah worker, he must know the sunnah, without which he cannot make his da'wah. And he should love him. Without love of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, one cannot become a good mu'min, good believer. How can he be a dawa worker, a muballiq and da'i without following the path of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? So the knowledge of sunnah is must. For example, Quran says, Atu zaka But who shall pay the zakah? the charity, and uh, when the charity shall be paid, and what shall be the rate of zakat. So we know it is 2.5%. If you have gold or silver or any other currency, cash, bank balance for more than 355 days. But, but, If you are a farmer and if you are growing agricultural produce, then 
on after every harvest you have to pay 10% of it and if you have your own source of irrigation the the rate of sakat on agricultural produce will be only 5% so uh, you see all these details are not mentioned in the quran they are mentioned in the sunnah of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam claimed himself that he is the messenger of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and quran the book of allah says wa ma yantiqu anil hawa in huwa illa wahyu yuha he does not speak from his own will it is the god it is the revelation of god which comes on his mouth wa ma yantiqu anil hawa in huwa illa wahyu yuha it is a wahi it is a revelation that is revealed upon him so allah was putting words in his mouth whatever that was coming on his lips that was from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he was sadiq he was honest he was amin he was trustworthy so every single word that he uttered yet uh, we have to believe that this is from allah himself and muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is his messenger and we have to imitate without love of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam we cannot imitate him we have to love allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the jews used to say nahnu abna allah wa ahibba we are the children of god we are beloved to him we are chosen but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told in the quran in kuntum tuhibbuna allah fattabi'uni yuhibbukum allah if you are claiming that you are in love of god in kuntum tuhibbuna allah if you are loving god that is if it is your claim fattabi'uni you must have to obey muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam fattabi'uni yuhibbukum allah if you imitate and if you follow the footsteps of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam then only god the allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to love you so mere claim does not make you beloved of god it is the teachings of god given through prophets that are important they have to be followed they have to be obeyed and then only the creator god is going to love us so without the love of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the the work of dawa and tabligh is not achievable wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh